like all good stories, this one involves uh, some fishing rods, cooler full of goodies, and some good friends. What do I believe? What makes me feel it? To write you this song. Out here, going fishing, taking Luke out, giving him the uh, the old welcome to town try uh, tour. <laughs> we're gonna try to fish. We're while well, we are going to fish. We just don't know if we're going to catch fish. We're not going catching. We're going fishing. Hey, you gotta tell him about our five dollar bet. <laughs> of course, everything has to be a contest. This guy, I don't know who started this, but first biggest most uh, five bucks each. Oh, well, I mean, we're not betting on it, but. We might, I might give him five bucks if he catches the first fish. He might give me five bucks if I catch the most fish. We might give Pop Fur five bucks if he catches the biggest fish. So I'll give you a hard time at the very least. That's how many. That's how many fish I'm catching. Ten. Ten fish. Hundred fish. Thousand fish. Man, I'm fishing, man. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Furman. You know, this is the first time you got me out. Wow. Ever. No, ever. Ever? Yeah. You've never been on this? No. Well, this we talked about this crap. a million times, but we haven't pulled it off yet. Until today. Got her done. This thing does all sorts of fancy stuff, and I don't even um, know 90% of it yet. What should I rig on this bad boy, you think? Anything will work. Some days nothing will work. <laughs> Some days uh, one thing will work. Mine, I don't know that there there's we go. any like magical lure, you know? No, we're fishing. There's a guy Line fishing. Oh, Line in. I feel like you probably know what you're doing when you got it precise to 40 poles. See, Furman said three colors, so I'm going to put it right at three colors. Better activities when you have broken overshankle and sitting in a boat with your best friends fishing. I reckon. I'm just hoping we have something to throw on the trigger tonight. You got something. Five dollars, I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Big one? I don't know. He's maybe I snagged something. No? Oh, come on. It's not looking real lively. Oh there we go, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a fish. It's a nice one. Don't, don't, don't get, don't get uh, all the way tied up like that. There you go. Woo! All Decent right. Come on, baby, five dollars. All right. Found That's a, a decent quarter. trout. That's a nice trout, too. Shoot dang, fellas. Come on, baby. All right. Yeah. Phoebe did her job, huh? Woo. Yeah. Oh, I think we got another one over here. Oh, yeah, we do. Got it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> all right, fellas. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oops, my bad. Did you get that free? We fishing now. Oh, nope. oh yeah? We fishing now. It's officially. Fish? Oh. Oh, that's a, that's a nice trout. little trout, man. <laughs> I only missed first by a little bit, huh? Yeah. Ooh. That's a nice one. Oh, dang. That's a big oh, one. Oh, all right. You missed first, but you <laughs> might get biggest here. Woo. <laughs> Big boy. There you go. Nice. All right, all right. Well done. That's a real nice one. Heck yeah, man. Done, David Wyatt. Yeah. Woo. Good. Good. Gosh, that's, that's pretty. Almost like fishing or something. Shoot, guys. It was Justin's story. Thanks, Justin. You're welcome. Find out.
catch fish, but I can run a net. <laughs> well, I'm shoot. Bourbon's leading in biggest I'm and most for most now. Biggest and most. <laughs> My wifey went to bed at midnight last night to make us these sandwiches, so we're gonna, we're gonna enjoy great. them thoroughly. Alexander Wise. Drat. Wise off the grid. She's it's a team effort. We're out here procuring what we're gonna barbecue later. And she uh, took care of us nutrition wise on the way there. Well, some of us are pro procuring. So far, you guys are worthless. <laughs> <laughs> What are you even here for, man? I don't know. I naps, apparently. <laughs> it did. It was effective, though. Hey, go ahead. Go I'll back go to sleep, back you two. We started going in. I'll be honest. We were going in. And uh, on the way in, I got a bite, lost a fish. Justin got a bite, lost a fish. And then Papa Fur caught another fish. So as addicted outdoorsmen, we decided, well, we might as well stay for the evening bite as well, which means we stayed longer than we thought we were going to, which means we got a little hungry. But here I am sitting in the back of the boat, leaning back over there, thinking to myself, we have a surplus of fish in this boat. We've caught six of them so far. And we just had some sushi last night. I don't see why a beautiful pulled over lake trout, or lake rainbow trout, wouldn't be good sushi. We also happen to have a lemon on hand because my wife packed me some uh, lemon avocado. So here we are, we're gonna try a little sushi. I filleted it up and we're eating it with lemon wedges and you guys are gonna see Luke, Luke's raw take on trout sushi. <laughs> trout nigiri, here we go. Here we go, cheers mate. Yeah. I'm not bad. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Really? It's really not bad, it's just the mental thing. Oh, totally. Like, I just watched... Well, I haven't you tried trout that. sushi ever, but I can testify to small amount of bass. No, I, I, I thought it fishy. was going to be fishy, but it's not fishy at all. So Luke, Luke had the mental aversion same, to think. eating trout sushi. <laughs> he didn't really... He didn't, he didn't think it was a good idea from the start. I, however, think it's a good idea, so I'm going to give her a rip. But I'm going to try to give you the real reaction. I'm not going to pretend it's good if it's not. Oh man! That's not bad. That's think? really good. Really? I'm not lying. That tastes like that salmon. That's as good as those salmon pieces yep, we were eating the, last night. The nigiri night. we had last night. Yeah. Try it up. Come it's on. good. It's really good. Yeah, actually, it's okay. <laughs> Maybe use a little salt. A little salt would be nice, yeah. Wouldn't hurt. I'm excited to test the theory, because I've always had this theory that trout sushi would be good. And people have always told me, oh no, trust me, it won't be good. It'll be too fishy, it'll be too something. And uh, now that we've done it, I know that they're all wrong, and this is delicious. So I'm excited to save. We're definitely going to grill some of these on the trigger as well. But I'm excited to save some of these and uh, use them for nigiri. All right guys, so as you know, we have a bounty of fish. And uh, fortunately, we have enough fish that we can do a couple different things with them. We're gonna start with tonight's meal. We're gonna uh, basically Traeger bake. I would call it Traeger bake, the, the big boy. And then we're going to cut this uh, smaller rainbow up for sashimi. So we have some restaurant quality uh, sushi rice as well, as well as some ginger wasabi. We're gonna do it up real sashimi style, a little different than we did on the boat yesterday. Starting with the big boy. Um, I wanna teach you guys or show you or have you enjoy with me. Super simple recipe. Uh, all you have to do is take some butter, a couple uh, slices of butter, and put them in the, in the cavity of the fish. And then I like to, this is kind of a random hack, but it does make the skin a little nicer. I like to baste a little bit of mayonnaise on the outside, just a small, 
I don't even like mayonnaise, but something this does something magical to the skin makes it just taste a little better. I personally like to eat the skin along with the fish. So this uh, makes it, like I said, taste just a little better. If you're lazy and your wife shops at Costco, we have this. Uh, <laughs> We have this batch of already minced garlic, so it's saving me a little bit of time and effort. And uh, I'm just gonna put that right in there. And then a little fin and feather rub on the outside. Kinda pat it down on the outside. And a nice, healthy coating on the inside with the butter. And then we just fold it long ways with the tin foil, aluminum foil. And then fold these ends all the way over. I have too much tin foil, but it's all right. It's nice if you make them long enough that they can kind of interlock with each other. And then we're gonna do this eight minutes on a side. So we're gonna fold it, we're gonna put it in. Uh, Traeger's at 375, and we're gonna put it in for eight minutes on a side, folded side down first, so that all the juices stay in on the folded side up for the last little bit. And that's all it takes, so here we go. Set timer for eight minutes. So the Traeger Bake recipe is definitely the most common and probably what you'll use the most when you're cooking for other people. Uh, not too many people are gonna be as brave as my friends and try trout sashimi, but here we go. I'm gonna start with my big knife, go right next to the spine, kind of like you would do with a bass or anything else. Just go in from the top, trying to get as much of this meat off of this as we can without getting the ribs too. I have to admit I'm not as good at butchering fish as I am at butchering game animals, uh, large game animals. But don't worry, I'm gonna go back after this video is shot I'm gonna clean all this off and I'm gonna have a little sashimi for myself. But anyways, we're making progress. It's just that. Good. All right, like I said, I uh, am not very used to cutting up fish, so I'm kind of experimenting as we go here. And I remember that yesterday I had a lot more luck filleting it like this than I did doing what I just tried, which pretty much was a fail. And it is indeed much easier to do it this way. So I apologize for the earlier version. Oh, there's our flip. Time to flip the uh, flip that man. Trying to get away again. Whew. 
I'm far from a sushi chef, but my mediocre skills are going to have to do for tonight. It's good. It doesn't even taste fishy. It doesn't even taste fishy? What does it taste like? It tastes like trout. That's fish. <laughs> no, no. There we go. There's a nice sushi style thin slice. That's what we're looking for. Little rice balls, sushi style rice balls. Somebody's gonna comment that I have no idea how to do this, and they're 100% correct. But whatever works, right? Now that we want to try, yeah. about that size, okay? okay. Get your palms out. Your nice, clean, freshly washed palms. And put that sticky rice together. All right, guys, you guys can vote who rice ball turned out better, mine or not. I promise to not like, not pretend to like it if it's awful, but I think it's pretty good. Oh yeah, you guys won't be displeased, that's great. Mm. Success. Also a little too much wasabi. <laughs> <laughs> That's not that not that bad. <laughs> that not that bad, guys. <laughs> For a girl, this girl, we have to, we would have to tie her up and force her to eat fish. For her to say that's not that bad means it's actually real good. <laughs> <laughs> the gag reflex. <laughs> Too big of a bite, huh? <laughs> Lemon, ginger, soy sauce. Super good. Let it go. See, mm -hmm. it's not bad. That was good. I was like, when I tried it and I put it into my mouth, I was like, why haven't I, why haven't I tried that? And I was like, that, that's impressively that's totally good. Restaurant quality, baby. Hey. I would pay for that sushi. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. You guys, Alexandra procured the rice and the wasabi for us. And the ginger. Well, she did most of the work, <laughs> let's be honest here. She, first of all, she took care of the kids so I could go fishing all day. And then she helped me get all the supplies. And then she took care of the kids while I fiddled around and cooked for all longer than it was necessary to cook for. And she still compliments me as if I did the work. It's amazing. It's amazing. You're We're a good amazing. team. Yeah. Good team. Boom. You're here for every part of the process. Mmm. Mmm. One word. You know the rules. Fantastic. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> was it better on the boat or? That was way better than on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> definitely better than on the boat. Well, just the sriracha. On the boat was nice, but the sriracha little extra way. kick of flavor definitely helped. Okay, the big fish that we Traeger baked is ready to go. That looks like Peeling it apart at the seams, and I am so excited about it. Oh, that, that might be better than the sushi. That turned out really good. Dang. We're gonna have to have a vote. That's really good. Peels right off. Fin comes out. Oh man. That, okay, maybe we made the right call cooking this one. That is some good looking fish. Traeger smoked fish. Traeger smoked fish. Traeger bake. That's money. Money. What do you vote? 
or are you gonna do sushi? You have you only can eat one meal for the rest of your life: sushi or Traeger baked. Traeger baked for sure. <laughs> nice. Can't beat the Traeger. All right, guys, I'm signing off because I'm hungry and I want to really eat this food, not do the uh, whole cinematic taste tester thing. I'm actually gonna pile in and eat the, this entire plate. So, thanks for tuning in. Check out all the other content and like and subscribe because you guys rock. Rainy day here in Reno. We're saying goodbye to Luke. Sad story. But it's been a heck of a weekend as you guys saw. Banger weekend. <laughs> Move out here, man. I know, I know, I know. Move to Denver, Dave. Move nope. to Denver. Bye, Luke. Have fun. Later, peeps. <laughs>